Hello YouTube and uh, Gemma Giorgio. Since I'm doing all the Apple Shake tutorials, I thought I would uh, take the time to cover some of the stuff we're learning in Shake um, inside of After Effects, because I know After Effects tutorials were requested, so I'm going to be taking it back, uh, back to the basics. Okay, so what we're going to be doing in this one is just covering some basic compositing and techniques, and also we're going to be learning After Effects in the meantime. So come over to Project, and I'm going to create and file new project, just to start from scratch. We're going to bring in some sequences, so how do we do that? Well, right click and press import, multiple files, and the idea is that we're going to overlay some footage. We're going to press open here. And as you can see, what's happened here is that you brought in images when actually you want these images to be a single file. So how do you create these images as a single file? If we just preview them, you can um, see that's some command minus. We'll zoom out here. Hold down the space bar and you can drag around. Um, as you can see, that's just a single image. So if we get rid of all these... Um, files, the delete key, are you sure you don't want to delete them, yes, right click, when we go import, multiple files, navigate, choose just the first picture, and you can see you've got to tick this box that says IFF sequence, and that's automatically going to pick every image in that sequence, and there are 60, so open, and as you can see, we've now got a single bit of video. Our next bit is our foreground, so choose foreground 001, open. It's given us some options here, and if you don't know what you're doing, then just press OK, and After Effects generally does the rest for you. We then want our robot. Oh, by the way, the files I'm using are from the Shake um, Compositing and Visual Effects book. It came on a disk. And we've also got a shadow. Press open and then press done. And what do we have here? We double click on a file, then it's going to load it into the viewer. Command minus will zoom out, command equals will zoom in. So we've got a background, we've got a foreground that's going to go over our background, we've got a robot, and we've got a shadow. Now, we're going to face a few problems that most people will face um, in the professional visual effects world, and that is that these are actually different sizes. For instance, our foreground and background are much bigger video files than this, uh, than our robots. So, what do we do? Um, well, we resize them. If you see this checker box button here, toggle transparency grid, if you click that, you can see that this car does actually have transparency, which is what we want. So, it would be easier to put over our foreground and background. If we shift select these files and drag them into this button here, this is going to create a new composition. And we're going to press to single composition. If we wanted a composition for each individual file, then we'd do that, but we don't. And what is a composition? Well, that is basically your visual effects. Your project panel is where you have all your different elements, files, every bit of media that you're importing and here is your timeline. Now the way it works, if something's on top of something, so for instance the robot is on top of the shadow, um, then it's going to be above it um, visually as well. So I'll show you what I mean. If we uh, grab this one that's called the foreground, grab this little handle here so we can see what they're all called. This one's called foreground as I'm sure you can see we grab that and put it above the background then it's now above the background to make it easier to see you see this little color here you can right click and change the color I'm going to make my uh, foreground green I want my robot to be um, purple and my shadow to be sandstone that way it's easy to distinguish between them I think that blue is a little too similar to the others so I'm going to go with red there we go. 
Now we can distinguish between them quite easily. Okay, so our foreground is above our background, and then we also want our robot above our foreground. And as you can see, it is far too small. Um, now we're going to make the composition the size of the robot. Because if we were to scale the robot up, enough, then as you can see, it dramatically loses its detail. Command equals to zoom in, like I said. Um, so we don't want to do that. But make sure our robot is above. Sorry. If we uh, right click here and go composition settings, another way to do that is in our project panel we can see our composition, which we can rename by hitting the enter key. We can call it um, robot comp. Hit enter. Right click, go composition settings. We're going to change it to uh, the size of the robot footage which is 960 and we don't even have to change the second part because it's le it's locked in aspect ratio which means the um, the height is going to change proportionally um, and press OK and as you can see the robot now fits fine but the background does not so we're going to grab our foreground and background shift select them both if you hit the S key it's going to give us some scale options and just click in the foreground, change um, the percentage to the left to 50 and hit enter and it's going to change the foreground and the background to 50% of their original size which fits perfectly. If we scrub along here you can see the uh, it fits fine but we want to add in our shadow. How do we do that? Let's take a look at our shadow. We put it above the uh, foreground but below the robot. You can see that it's a white bit of footage with a black shadow. Um, that's not what we want. We want just the black bit and no white. So what can we do? Well, we're going to need a new layer, just like in Shake. Um, so I'm going to be doing these counterpart videos for After Effects for every Shake video, by the way. Um, just like what I'm doing with Final Cut and Premiere Pro. So I can satisfy all my lovely subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. And don't forget to recommend me to a friend or even someone you hate. It doesn't affect me because I'm sure I'll get on with them. Um, <laughs> um, we're going to go layer, new, adjustment layer. Now, an adjustment layer is basically a platform to put effects on and it's going to affect everything below it. Um, we don't want our shadow to be above the robot, so we're going to put it below. And we're going to grab effect, color correction levels. Now basically this uh, if we uh, turn off our shadow and um, see this eye icon just like in the, my Photoshop tutorials if you check the eye then it's going to make it invisible. Go back to our adjustment layer and we're going to rename this adjustment layer by hitting enter we're going to call it shadow and grab the greys and drop them Boost them, sorry. Boost the greys like that. And even boost some of the blacks. Just like that. And you see, unfortunately, it's darkened the whole image, where we only want it to darken this black area. So, grab our shadow, put it below our shadow image, and change the track map, which is this button here. It's under the track map column. If you can't see it, then press toggle switches and modes until you do see it. I change it to Luma Inverted Map. And then, voila, we've now got a shadow here. So what, what has that done? Basically, it has taken the... Uh, whichever's black in the image is, vi is visible in our adjustment layer, and whichever whatever isn't, well, isn't visible. Complicated, just, just do what I do. So we've got our footage now, which is looking pretty cool. And I'm not going to cover too much else because basically I just wanted to get across some of the techniques. But what we will do is we're going to color correct our robot very quickly. So select our robot layer. And if we just want an effect to affect the um, one layer, then you choose that layer and add the effect to that as opposed to an adjustment layer. Color correction levels. We're going to go red. We're going to boost some of the reds a bit. I'll explain what I'm actually doing in a future tutorial, but just do what I do for now. And blue, and bring down this dropper here. And then we're also going to match the grain on our robot, 
um, to the grain in the background because if we zoom in you can see that the background's got grain whereas the robot doesn't. Um, so make sure we got our robot selected, go effect, noise and grain, match grain. And where it says noise source layer in our effects panel, we're going to change the noise source layer to our background. And then change the preview to final output and you can see that our robot now has the same um, sort of grain as our background. So it blends much nicer. And um, so thank you for watching this part. Um, make sure you follow this series, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think. So see you guys soon.